Hey everybody, welcome. We were all anticipating today with uh, great excitement and curiosity as Wizards announced last week that they were going to do a banned and restricted here uh, today, June 1st. And they said that they're going to be making a, 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 a change to companions. And that's what we were all waiting for. What is the change to companions going to be? And is it going to solve the problem of their oppression in our magic lives? So. Here's the new companion rule. Boom, right out of the gate. New companion rule. Once per game, anytime you could cast a sorcery during your main phase when the stack is empty, you can pay three generic mana to put your companion from your sideboard into your hand. This is a special, a special action, not an activated ability. There you go. So we've had a lot of speculation about what they were gonna do to try to solve the companion problem. Uh, the most popular, uh, suggestion I was aware of on the internet that everybody was kind of like they should just do this was uh, the, the anybody who presents a companion does a London Mulligan after they uh, after they look at after they do their hand Mulligans you do a final London Mulligan uh, to bring the to make it fair to account for the that eighth card so I think uh, people were really interested in solving the eighth card problem which is the you know a big part of where the, the problem is here, right? However, even as we were talking about that solution last week, I was saying, well, you know, I don't know if that addresses the, my concern with the with that solution, the, the uh, just London Mulligan yourself, if you companion, was I said like that one of the problems though is repetitive gameplay and that doesn't necessarily solve the repetitive gameplay problem. It still gives everybody their companion on turn three or whatever every single game, right? And clearly R&D had the same concern because they went with something that uh, that attempts to actually solve that problem almost, at, you know, they didn't want to go so far as to remove the plus one card aspect of the mechanic, but they did add this payment cost to make it so that you can't deploy your uh, your companion consistently on the same early turn every game. So what does that do? You know, uh, let, let's I'm going to read some uh, uh, I'm going to read the paragraph from from Ian Duke on this. Our reasoning for making this change is based on metagame data and play rates of our of companion decks across all formats and on player feedback on repetitive gameplay patterns. As a group, decks using companions have too high of win rates and metagame share in standard, pioneer, and modern, and have already necessitated bans in legacy and vintage. This trend represents a long-term problem for the health and diversity of all formats. Rather than go down the path of making several individual adjustments to the band list for each format, we feel a better solution is to reduce the advantage gained from using a companion using a companion across the board. So, uh, and they said, uh, let, let me let me hop down to this. <clears throat> we discussed several alternative rules changes, but ultimately settled on this one as it best mitigates the potential for repetitive gameplay. There you go, and provides a wider window of interaction. That also means what? What? Well, you get there by ch by charging in, by charging additional mana. Playing a companion becomes less efficient relative to playing other cards the player has drawn. In this way, players are more likely to cast their other spells before their companion, resulting in more divergent game paths. Next, this additional mana will often slow the companion down by a turn, allowing the opponent to interact with it while in the, comp in the companion player's hand, or otherwise giving the opponent an additional turn to plan ahead before the companion hits the battlefield. So... That's super interesting. They basically tried to nerf them all. Or they have ner they have nerfed them all. They have nerfed them all via this installment mana plan, as opposed to what people were suggesting, which is just uh, uh, take away the extra card. Maybe they felt taking the extra card away was going too far and potentially killing the mechanic uh, or depowering the mechanic too much without solving without solving the repetitive gameplay problem. I can totally see them saying, yes, this nerfs them, but then uh, they're still playable in these situations and it still has a repetitive gameplay problem. So I understand where they went with it. It seems a little bit clunky. Um, and I wonder if it has the negative impact on the companion that 
uh, you know, again, I haven't been playing much standard, but as far as I am aware, like one of the kings of standard has been this Yorion, right? Yorion ramp. And um, I'm not sure how th this impacts, like Yorion ramp was always waiting forever to cast the Yorion anyway, right? So I don't know if taxing a ramp deck with an extra three mana um, changes the power level of that particular one all much, all that much. I mean, three mana is a lot. It does slow it down a bit. But again, if you're talking about decks whose fundamental plan is to try and stabilize, then turn the corner and then do their thing, and doing their thing always took place after stabilizing and turning the corner anyway, then um, uh, so so that might still be a problem. Skeptical Hat points out that Yorion coming in the turn after fires was part of the power. This breaks that in two ways. Okay, that that's interesting, Hat. Thanks. Again, I'm not really a standard player, right? I'm just trying to read the tea leaves here a bit and see what Wizards was trying to go for and anticipating where it may or may not uh, work the, the, the way they're going for. And yes, Death Threat, there are other... To, to quickly also call out Agent of Treachery is banned. That is, of course... Uh, so, uh, Agent of Treachery is a rare that's uh, a year old, as opposed to a mythic in the current set. And if you have two cards that are interacting too powerfully, and th that two card interaction is the real problem, then it's you, you really want to ban the lower rarity older thing as opposed to the uh, higher rarity newer thing from a business standpoint and it looks like fires of invention being banned is just you know that was just too oppressive in the meta um certainly i was tired of facing fires um and actually uh, i will i would call out that uh our friend Jay Schneider, who couldn't join us today and talk about this, uh, had long called Fires of Invention a mistake. Um, his his big issue was that it cast, it didn't, it it it, it was a, that it was fixing. He would have been okay with this card with Fires of Invention if uh, it had been uh, red mana only, for example, or you know mana of you can only cast spells of lands that have you know that sh of lands that can produce that color mana, something like that. And uh, anyway, back to, so back to Companions. What else about Companions? How about Limited with Companions? Are we still going to take them and Companion them? I think in a lot of cases we still are. I, I think, uh, I, th I think, again, a lot of the power in them in limited is just being an eighth card. Uh, the the value has has to have dropped, of course. It uh, they were unquestionably nerfed. They are simply worse. They are simply worse. But they are exactly three mana worse. And I think it's worth exploring with you all. Like I, I hope we do open a companion. I don't know if the new rules are in. Uh, in Arena today. I don't know if they mentioned that when they're when they're taking effect. Oh, here it is. Effective rules date June fourth. So um, June fourth is when we will be playing under these new rules. But I, I look forward to trying uh, companions. Maybe there'll be a little bit more of a question. Maybe they'll be more interesting, right? I feel like uh, uh, there were still already some interesting companion or not decisions in limited, but now maybe they'll be even more interesting. Yeah, Karuga. Companion and Karuga seems wrong, and that was never that great before. Now I just kind of want to play Karuga as a good rare, right? Uh, let's see, Mensch. No, I didn't answer your question yet, Mensch. I'm, I'm looking at it now. It was, um, uh, what if they were always designed this way? What would, it, what would we have said during preview season? Well, think first, I think if they were always designed this way, they would also have some uh, mana cost differences. They, they would... Uh, of course, would have tweaked each individual companion to be at exactly the right, well, exactly the right, at the balance point they're aiming for to the best of their ability within the new system. So I think um, 
that's the first that's my first comment there that if this had been the if this had been the the plan all along the actual companions would look a little different as well and yeah can, <laughs> garuda has something to do on three that's funny uh Mianthro. i like that uh <clears throat> so and and we would have uh i i, I assume we would be had a, we would have been then like I am right now, Mensch, which is, huh, we'll have to try this out and see if they're good enough. Um, maybe they would not have read as exciting. You know, I don't know how people felt about companions when they first saw them. Maybe they got really excited and that excitement around the, the obvious power level of companions drove set sales or whatever. So maybe if you go back and do this from the beginning, the set sales worse because your um, your main mechanic, your big splashy key selling point mechanic, it doesn't read powerful, right? Yeah, I was concerned from day one. This would have left me a little bit less concerned, but still concerned for me, like, just why would you even do this? Like, to me, I think we get to the, like, this is where they have to go with it now. I don't know if they would bother with the mechanic at all if they knew that this was going to be the result. That would be my question I, I would like to ask, like, Ian Duke or uh, Dave Humphreys or Eric Lauer or any of the... Uh, the people who really no doubt worked hard on this problem in r and d if i if I could go back to them and say if if you said, "Okay, this is only going to be balanced if it has this rules text and you did it early enough in the design process, they may have just pivoted away from this to do something else because it's definitely a lot less sexy because it's balanced or or it's more balanced. We'll see um Nantuko, I believe, was someone who has said, and I've heard it said from others that it, they don't feel like this has gone far enough. That basically by still allowing the extra card advantage that uh it's still very powerful and and potentially too powerful but in limited those deck building restrictions hit hard i have not companioned a card in limited without a little bit of pain yet uh, the closest no pain companioning has been the uh red green one five five uh i'm sure you'll all remember the the name of that one uh, yeah, Gigantha, right? Lutri, though, Lutri is painful. I, I, I think Lutri, Lutri, maybe we thought wasn't going to be painful, but Lutri was, has been. It's very difficult in Limited to uh, not play dupes because you really want those uh, double <clears throat> double commons and stuff. Uh, but Gigantha, I've uh, I've had to like yeah, not run Archies, not run uh, ambush, Frostvale ambush, that kind of thing. But pretty minor, and I I don't see why I wouldn't be still thrilled to uh, companion Gigantha because it's just an extra card. It, so if the cost of if the deck building restriction isn't that oppressive, it's still a free card, even if it's a uh, free late game card because you need to pay some mana first. Um, Lutri doesn't have flash anymore. I know what you mean, but Lutri does have flash, and it just. But Lutri is weaker, which is again kind of the point. So uh, that's what I got. I don't know. Anybody else have any thoughts on this? They want to express questions, ask for me before we jump into. Play in some magic. Doesn't sound like it. All right, let's play some magic. Thanks for hanging out for that. 